today we are going to be talking about um, the iPad because the iPad is uh, soon to be released in the military community relatively soon. We thought that this piece would be uh, especially relevant for you uh, viewers. And uh, today we're going to talk about the differences between Wi-Fi and 3G. That always seems to be a little bit confusing to most people. And uh, we're going to talk about the major carriers you can find here in uh, Okinawa. And uh, to help me with all this information, as a, uh, a fellow networker and technologist, uh, Nick Neary. How are you, Nick? Just fine. Uh -huh. And uh, Nick had uh, purchased his iPad in the United States, and uh, so he's got a kind of like a jump on us as far as uh, how to get, how to use his iPad, and uh, um, what he's done to get uh, 3G technology on his iPad here in Okinawa. There are six versions of the iPad, 16, 32, and 64, both Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi with 3G. Can you explain for the layman the differences between uh, Wi-Fi and 3G? Sure. That's probably the most confusing thing about this whole thing. Um, Wi-Fi is just an easy way to say IEEE 802.11b or G or N or uh, you know any of the other flavors around. Uh, Wi-Fi is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency that we use for wireless communication inside of homes um, or businesses. Uh, but this is a limited range deal. It's much higher bandwidth or uh, speed than 3G is, but also a limited range. Now 3G, we're going to acquire that from a cellular network, and you can hand that off from cell to cell anywhere online. Oh, really? About the different carriers, um, really we have, on the island, we have AU, Docomo, and SoftBank. Uh, and they basically go about in that order as far as coverage area. Uh, AU has the best coverage on the island, but the least flexibility. Uh, Docomo has excellent coverage, but you do have the advantage of having these chips so that you can change your phone out. Oh, okay. And then SoftBank, uh, they have basically really horrible coverage. Because of the frequency that they have, they don't get any penetration through the walls. Um, in buildings or other things that we have here on the island. Uh, so you have the best frequency or the best uh, flexibility and phone choice with SoftBank out of all three selections, but it's just the coverage isn't worth it for most people. Okay, Nick, so what is uh, what would be our first step in uh, doing this. So the tricky thing about this whole thing is that you can't really walk into Docomo and ask specifically to buy a SIM card. This is going to be something that, that comes in uh, a phone or a modem that you're using to provide an internet connection to your laptop. Um, what I would suggest that you do is go into Docomo and, uh, and purchase a data plan with Mopra. Mopra is um, Docomo's internet service provider. So you're going to go and, and purchase a USB modem from them with a data account. And that'll cost you about $50 to, to purchase the modem. But what you're really after is this piece inside of here. Now, I used my Blackberry's SIM card, and we need to take this and turn it into this. This is a micro SIM card, and this is just the, the full sized SIM. Let's see. The Docomo device, mm -hmm. and pull the SIM card out. Sure. And then. And then, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take this AT&T card. Now if you're in the States, this is what you'd be using. You wouldn't have to do any of this. Uh, because this contains all the information to create an AT&T account. So you're going to want to save this for when you go back to the States. I see. Uh, but you're going to take this AT&T card and you're going to lay it over top of the Docomo card. This is a little confusing at first, 
because the Docomo card, the full size card, has uh, four columns and there's only three on your AT&T card. That's okay, the right side is just a spacer. It's just there to, to occupy space. I see. So if you line them up, that's basically all you have to do is line it up and then you're gonna take a marker and trace around the outside of this and, and cut it to size. This is basically just plastic, the same thing that your credit card is made out of. And then um, the chip is, is only the metal part that you see. So you don't have to worry about cutting any kind of electronics or anything when you cut into this. <clears throat> and when it's finished, we'll use our handy dandy ejection tool. You're going to end up with a card like this. Is that card? And you can see that it says FOMA on it. Mm -hmm. It's it's the same thing. It's just sliced down. This is the actual one that I can't, got out of my BlackBerry, and this has my unlimited um, internet service on it. That is it in a nutshell. You actually well, cut it down with a, like a pair of scissors or something. <laughs> that that's correct. Just just take a pair of scissors or an exacto knife or, or something like that uh, just make sure that you steer clear of the metal here so once we have this cut down to size you, you see here it says that the network is lost that's because my sim card isn't in there no sim card installed I'm gonna press OK and I'm gonna put this chip in help if it goes in the right way there we go now it's it's going to immediately just show the NTT network here um, the only thing that you're going to need to do at this point now is go into the settings menu and then go to carrier or cellular data sorry and you'll see here where it says APN settings. In here, we just need to change this line that says APN to MOPERA.net. MOPERA.net. You don't need a username or password because it uses your cellular phone number to identify you. And this is this just tells it where it's going to be getting its internet access from. And here you can see where it says Carrier and TT Docomo. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you so much, Nick. It was uh, no problem. It's uh, interesting to see how uh, you tech guys figure all this stuff out. <laughs> I mean, I'm just uh, totally amazed. Okay, Nick. Thank you so much again for this. You're very uh, welcome. It's great demonstration. Uh, people are always. Uh, uh, trying to find probably their cheapest options mm -hmm. and advantage of this 3G technology. Yeah. Yeah.